And joining me in the studio to talk about research into disease control is another researcher at the Max Planck Institute for Infection Biology, malaria researcher Kai Matuszewski. Thank you so much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today. Now, we're seeing that uh, TB is a problem again, but I thought that there was already a vaccine against it. Well, there is a vaccine. It's 90 years old. It's a semi or partly efficient vaccine. And, and that was under control up until HIV came up. And, and now with the co-infection and this dramatic expansion of TB, we just need new tools. It's about time to develop a new vaccine 90 years later. But why isn't the vaccine that's already there not working? Well, it's, um, it's uh, an old vaccine that's okay, that gives partial immunity for a couple of years, but it's not effective in adults, we know that, for, for decades, and, and what we need is a better vaccine. Now, you yourself are working over in Eastern Africa doing research there. Can you tell us a little bit more about your own work? Yeah, we are interested in malaria, which is another big killer, an infectious disease, killing about a million children every year in sub-Saharan Africa. Every minute a child dies and it's a pathogen that's very complex, uh, very uh, tricky to, to uh, contain and, and we try to come up with strategies to develop a vaccine. How critical is the situation with malaria at the moment then? Um, there's huge investments by the world community for every child burn, uh, born, uh, $60 are being spent on control and it helps a little bit, but certainly not enough. Now, um, we're seeing malaria is a problem, we're seeing HIV is a problem and now tu tuberculosis. Uh, and we're also seeing a lot of um, cooperation between Germany and Africa. Why now all of a sudden? There are many factors, I think. First of all, there's a whole new generation of scientists, young scientists that are being educated in the United States and Europe um, with great ideas who go back to their own countries to contribute to the major problems there. Um, they're good institutions, they're research investments, and, and for the first time we are working on a, on a similar level of very high um, uh, high caliber science and that's something new. No more clinical trials which are headed by the Western civilized countries. It's really a cooperative project um, based uh, interaction. How key are these cooperative projects in helping to fight these diseases? I think they're essential. I mean, the diseases happen uh, in these countries. We have our models. We have very uh, defined uh, models, uh, simplified models, often oversimplified. We can test them, we can go back and, and test them, uh, a reality check in these uh, countries, and then go back to the lab. It's, a, it's an iterative process, lab, um, bush, lab, bush, and, and it's exciting. Okay, are, are they enough to fight what we're up against? No, I mean, this is just the start, right? This is uh, emerging, this is uh, something we will look after, we want to expand, but there, there can be many, many more investments and, and many, many more research corporations in the future. Kai Matuszewski, thank you very much for joining us here at Tomorrow Today.